An open world setting can be a tricky thing to pull off for a racing game. For a genre that's so focused on constant speed and forward momentum, the absolute freedom of a vast open world can be a tough thing to reconcile, and can be just as tough to actually populate that world with interesting and varied activities that all fit within the framework of a racing game. Even so, there have been more than a few excellent open world racers that have managed to do just that. And here, we're going to highlight some of the best of the best, as we rank the 10 games that we feel stand the tallest in the genre. Before we go ahead, please consider subscribing to our channel. We upload new videos every single day, and your support really helps us out. With that out of the way, let's start. Number 10. Test Drive Unlimited 2 The next intersection, turn left. Turn left. Test Drive Unlimited 2 may not have been the perfect game by any stretch of the imagination, with everything from its inconsistent world design and forgettable and threadbare attempts at telling a story to a bevy of technical issues that the game launched with dragging the experience down in some pretty significant ways. But there is a lot of fun to be found here nonetheless. Large chunks of its open world are absolutely gorgeous, and as such, a joy to simply drive around in. Well, there's also no shortage of excellent racing events and activities scattered throughout all of that real estate. Sure, you have to cut through some less than stellar stuff to get to the good stuff, but when you get to it, it's really, really good. Number 9. The Crew 2 The Crew 2 is an ambitious game to say the least, with a massive world that spans a scaled recreation of the entirety of the United States. And much like Test Drive Unlimited 2, it isn't perfect. Its somewhat hollow world and inconsistent mechanics do drag the experience down at times, but its pros definitely outweigh its cons. Being able to drive around the entire country seamlessly is endlessly fun, and the fact that the game lets you drive not just cars but also air and water vehicles lends so much more variety to its activities. Thanks to that variety of activities and an addictive progression system, The Crew 2 manages to overcome its issues to deliver an undeniably enjoyable experience. Number 8. Snow Runner. Snow Runner is easily one of the most unique, driving-focused games we've played in recent years. Not only does it focus completely on an off-road experience, the off-roading experience it does focus on is unlike any other. It's slow, methodical, authentic, and completely uncompromising in its drive to deliver a game where the sole focus is driving trucks on all manner of challenging terrains. The result is a game that might not be the most accessible, and might even prove to be frustrating for some, but if it does click with you, there's really nothing else quite like it. SnowRunner's dedication to its mechanics is admirable, and getting to grips with those mechanics is rewarded with a thoroughly enjoyable and satisfying experience. Number 7. Midtown Madness Midtown Madness might be well over two decades old at this point, but its quality is timeless. Even today, it stands out as one of the most unabashedly fun open-world racing games ever made, because really, first and foremost, that's what the game was concerned with above all. It wanted you to pick a car and drive around in its open-world Chicago recreation with nothing but fun on your mind, and the absolute carnage that it drummed up in its world and its variety of activities was consistently a blast. The fact that the game would go on to lay down the foundations for the Midnight Club series speaks volumes about its legacy. Speaking of which... Number 6. Midnight Club Los Angeles Rockstar might be wholly focused on Grand Theft Auto and Red Dead Redemption in today's day and age, but they have more than a few excellent, dormant franchises under their belt that fans fondly look back on to this day. One of those is Midnight Club, and that series was at its best with its fourth and final installment, Midnight Club Los Angeles. It truly was a culmination of all of its predecessors, putting players into a vast open world that was full of opportunities for wreaking havoc and engaging in what felt like an endless amount of riotous activities, both in single player and in multiplayer. Sure, it shoehorned in a rather bland story into the experience, but at the end of the day, as an open world racer, Midnight Club Los Angeles was an impressive achievement. Number 5. Need for Speed Hot Pursuit 2010 2010's Need for Speed Hot Pursuit was Criterion Games' first crack at EA's long-running racing series, and at that time it felt like a match made in heaven. 
The Hot Pursuit subtitle had a lot of cachet with Need for Speed fans, of course, but it's fair to say that Criterion's take on that more than lived up to the billing. The developer brought its trademark action-heavy arcade racing style from the Burnout series and applied it to the Need for Speed formula with nary any hiccups. What they ended up delivering was an open-world racer defined by blistering pace and consistently thrilling cops and robbers races and events, where you can play as both sides of the law and have an equally enjoyable time regardless of who you were playing as. Number 4. Need for Speed Most Wanted, 2005 Need for Speed has tried its hand at the open-world formula a fair few times, and it's done so quite successfully on a number of occasions, including with the aforementioned Hot Pursuit in 2010. But its best-ever open-world is without a doubt also one of its earliest. 2005's Most Wanted is an absolute gem of a game that shines bright even today. 16 years on from its launch, the game is as good as it ever was, which should tell you something about its enduring and timeless quality. Excellent arcade mechanics, a solid structure serving as the skeleton of the entire experience, thrilling races scattered throughout the entire map, and brimming with exciting police chases. The original Most Wanted is probably the best Need for Speed game ever made, and a shining example of what this franchise is capable of when it's at its best. Number 3. Forza Horizon 3 Forza Horizon is now Microsoft's killer IP the only franchise from the platform holder, in fact, that can, at this moment, boast both immense critical acclaim and millions of copies sold with each new entry. And while every single game in the series has contributed to the stature the franchise enjoys, the game that is more responsible for this than any other is Forza Horizon 3. Forza Horizon 3 was a marvelous game, and its Australian setting did so much to sell players on just how great it is. The sense of place and culture uniquely realized by this game is at a level beyond most other racers can only aspire to, and of course, that the world felt fantastic to zip around in in your speeding machines only serves to bolster its incredible quality. Number 2. Burnout Paradise Criterion's Burnout was the last bastion of the old-school style of arcade racing, so you'd think the open world wouldn't suit the franchise quite as well. Well, you'd be wrong, because pretty much like anything else the Burnout games tried, they pulled off open-world racing with aplomb. Paradise cleverly adjusts the series' crash and speed-fueled style of trademark racing to a free-roaming city environment, Paradise City, that stands as the star of the show. And though some unfortunate concessions have to be made, we will never forget you crash mode, it's still a hell of an achievement that perfectly transforms the classic Burnout experience into a stellar open-world racer. Number 1 Forza Horizon 4 Everything good that can be said about Forza Horizon 3 applies to Forza Horizon 4, but multiple times over, because Forza Horizon 4 is essentially like a racing game equivalent of a Rockstar or Naughty Dog game. The attention to detail as the title recreates the wonderful countryside across four separate seasons, each having a tangible impact on the geography of the world surrounding you, in addition to, obviously, the aesthetics, is staggering here in addition to the world that just feels great to race in, and one that wonderfully recreates local flair and flavor across a variety of consistently imaginative and enjoyable activities. Forza Horizon 5 has a hell of an act to follow when it launches later this year, and we can only hope it lives up to the high standards set by its predecessors. So let's go! Don't sweat it, the Jets aren't in the race. They just happen to be here. So, what are your thoughts on this? Go ahead and share them in the comments below. And if you liked this video, please subscribe to the channel and enable all notifications by clicking the bell icon to get new video updates. We upload every day and would really appreciate your support. Thanks for watching.